What's up guys? This is the Mexican and I'm back with another fresh food review for you today. And um, today we've gone to McDonald's to have the new muck plant. Um yeah, I thought I thought um I haven't done a McDonald's review for a while. Um I saw their new plant-based burger and I thought, let's give it a go. Um I tried the Hunger Jacks version of it, the vegan whopper. Um I know they do a rebel whopper, which I think is just vegetarian, but the vegan one is vegan, obviously. I think this is just vegetarian. Um which might be more appetizing, because uh, the, the vegan one was awful. The cheese is just dreadful. I'm sure there's nice vegan cheeses out there, don't get me wrong, but uh, they're not using it. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Um, the meat they use in... The, the meat, sorry. They use in this one is um, Beyond. Um, you know, some people might think it's the impossible stuff, but yeah, no, they, they, spe they specify it's Beyond Meat, this one. Um, yeah, and I think it's modelled after the McFarland. Feast. It looks like it has all the same ingredients, the lettuce, the, the mayonnaise, um, tomato sauce, cheese, um, which I'm hoping is just the classic McDonald's cheese. It certainly tastes as average as the classic stuff, so I think it is. I don't think it's vegan. Um, yeah, and you can see the, the Beyond Patty. It does look pretty close to meat patty. Um, I mean, to the untrained eye, it might be, um, I worked at McDonald's for four years, so I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I definitely know what a 10 to 1 patty looks like. Um, so yeah, no, it's, uh, no, this would be a, this would be a 4 to 1, sorry, it's the, it's the quarter pounder button, forgive me, <laughs> I'm a bit out of practice. Um, yeah, we'll just get right into it. Um, yeah, I'll just start here, oh, drop some lettuce, they're actually still using the lettuce in the burgers, I noticed, rather than the cabbage blend a lot of other places are doing. Uh, yeah, now we'll, we'll get in. It's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, definitely doesn't taste like beef. Um, doesn't taste too far from beef, but you can tell it's not beef. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, so I'm just trying to get a bit of the patty on its own here. There we go. Has a very similar texture, um, which is applaudable. Um, that's definitely something you want. You want it to have that, that that same texture in a burger. You don't want it to be too squishy or too hard or anything like that, because then, then you just rough the entire composition of the burger. Um, I think with the right seasonings, this might just make it um, pretty much similar to the, to, to like a quarter pounder, say. Um, we'll, have, we'll have another bite. Mmm. Still, there's enough sauces and cheese and lettuce and tomato and all that and pickles. Um, just take a drink here. Um, to still cover up the the not beef taste, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty doable, to be honest. Um, yeah, look, would I rather have a McFeast? Yes, I would. Um, still, this is, this is for, for those who struggle to have a vegetarian option at McDonald's, because there definitely is a struggle there. Um, yeah, you've got you've got a couple of garden salads, which are dog shit. Um, this this um, this might just satisfy that craving. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty. I'll, I'll, I'll have one more bite. We'll just just check. Yeah, yeah, it's still got that classic McDonald's taste. You know that 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 tomato sauce lettuce um, pickle combo kind of going on. Um, yeah. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Yeah, not quite the same as beef, but solid enough. Um, well, I'm gonna give it out of 10, I'll give it... Um, well, the, 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 I got a large meal, it was about 13 bucks, for clarity, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll give it... I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's, it's better than the Hungry Jack's version, um, and it's definitely... It, it's close. It's close to the real thing. It's not quite there, but I think um, pump the Beyond Patties with a bit more tweaking they can actually get there and it'll be near indistinguishable um so yeah i'll give it i'll give it eight out of ten just because it's not quite right i would still rather just have a nice beef patty in there um if you like the content go ahead, oh, sorry eight mooks out of ten plants forgive me uh, if you like the content go ahead and smash that subscribe button and if you want to watch another video go ahead and click that button right there i'll make it a macas one once again guys this is the mexican signing off